Hello, I'm Igor, and I would like to present you our method on multi queue photometric point cloud registration. On the contrary to typical point cloud registration techniques, our method does not rely on explicit data association. Therefore, we can avoid searching for neighbors in 3D, which is a costly step. Our method can be seen as an extension of direct visual odometry method, or DVO. However, we extend the formulation to account for different queues. This allows us to process the data incoming from different sensors, such as Kinect, or LiDARs, such as Ocular and Velodyne, all using the same code base. We are also able to process these data at the frame rate of the sensor. So let me tell you a bit more about our method. Having a model scene shown in the top and a measurement in the form of intensity, depth, and normal images in the middle, we would like to find a 6D pose of the camera from which these images were taken. Given an estimate transformation X, we can project a point in the model onto the images. We do this by utilizing the projection function, which returns the coordinates of the pixel for every point. Having just the coordinates is not enough, though, as we need a value to be stored in each pixel. We generate this value using the mapping function that maps a particular queue to an image channel. These operations result in new estimated images, which are a bit different from the observed ones. The per pixel differences between the estimated and the observed images are exactly the values that we want to minimize using the least squares approach with respect to the camera pose. In this example, we were using the data from the Kinect sensor, but adapting the projection and mapping functions allows us to use the same code with other sensors. We have performed experiments on real-world datasets using different sensors to showcase this. Here you see our method running on the Munich dataset taken with a Kinect sensor. Our approach runs at frame rate while providing the results of similar quality to those reported by DVO. Here depths, intensity, and normals are used as cues. We have also tested our method in real underground site on the data acquired with an ocular dense lighter in stop and go fashion. Our method outperforms NACP in terms of resulting map quality on these data. And finally, we have also done tests on the well-known Kitty dataset, estimating the odometer from Velodyne LiDAR scans. Our method again runs at frame rate while providing a good odometry estimate. It is important to stress that our method was not adapted to these different data apart from the projection and mapping functions, and the same code is used in all of the provided examples. This versatility is one of the key contributions of our work, and we hope to discuss this in depth at our booth. Also, our code is open source, and at this, I want to thank you for your attention, and I hope to see you all at the booth.